Here we go. <laughs> Gizzes! Wait, that's the name of the podcast! I came up with that name. Good time okay, to right. I was like, three, list. two, one. Gizzes! Let's so. introduce ourselves. <laughs> it's fair that um, we start youngest to oldest and the others describe. Um, the other thing? Yeah. <laughs> the things about them were. Alright, I'll well, start. No, no, no. <laughs> this is Beeb, uh, the youngest of our family. Um, not the most unfunny. Um, starting off strong out of the game. The one that we made fun of the most, absolutely. Because we all had a younger brother to make fun of, and it all rolled downhill, except for Beeb. Nate is the youngest. He'll be 21 in a week. We call him the Beeb, or Beeb. Um, That's not going to be distracted. He knows a lot about Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. John's already getting We're going to get into it. I'm just really distracted by the dirty pubes. Oh, on yeah, the floor when we're describing, sleep. it's it's quick and to the point. Poison Ivy. Go take a shower. No, why Let's describe so you dumb. now. <laughs> no, you're, no, you're okay. disgusting. Okay. okay, um. They didn't touch on the point. Um. They nailed it. That's it. Pretty much. Okay, moving mm -hmm. on. Okay, next this brother. Is, this is Josh the Diva. Mm. Um. It's me. Josh is the one who puts his blankets in the oven just before bed. <laughs> Josh is the one who puts his blankets in the dryer just before bed. No, no, no. no. the oven. Yeah, it's exactly. a process. I haven't done it in a while. Like yeah, it's a microwave to dry. Until we want him. Well, um, some backstory. The world revolves around me. Exactly. Continue. Josh, we're describing you. Were mm -hmm. you, you good? I'm basically going to say one thing. Yeah. Okay, you know how you'll be just in any sort of room with people that was a great sentence and it'll be chill josh is the type of person who walks in and just takes it over with his freaking voice you're too energetic sometimes and loud it's it's a it's a lot to take in. damn you just turned this into an intervention <laughs> it'd be like that sometimes <laughs> it'd be like that yes let's give you my catchphrase on this anything else Dave? uh i was gonna say josh josh the diva he doesn't like to get wet tired sick Hungry or have a headache. It's like the five fingers of death. Yes. <laughs> oh, we're describing John now. I'll go first. I'm John. I'm the fourth out of six white boys born to. Oh, yeah, there's six of us. We were homeschooled. Tony Dees. Johnny we forgot Dees. to say that. We were all homeschooled. Oh. Were we homeschooled? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. They already know we were. And we all have nipples. <laughs> Spring for yourself. <laughs> wow, how can we start? To describe such an anomaly, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the, the critic, gesture says it all. the movie critic, who will buy vinyls at two a.m. in the morning? This man. Oh no no! Correction: Who will go dumpster diving for vinyls at two in the morning? <laughs> this man. when you have a lot of good stuff. When you have vinyl shopping at two and dumpster diving <laughs> at three, describes John. And who is the one to not listen to a new pop hit, but only the screamo cover of it? This man. We call him what? Jiminy J Jim Critic. Critic? Cricket? I, let's describe you. We're going to get into Talking about film. Uh, woodworking. And baking, baking, blueberry plies. This is Dave. He is, uh... <sighs> He's the social justice warrior of the group, um, which makes it hard because he's triggered. To all of us, you didn't use the proper anything term. is funny, but uh, to Dave, there are certain words that are off limits. Get it. He also doesn't know what to do in awkward silences. <laughs> so if we all come to the end of something, he goes, <laughs> "Yeah, get it." Which, yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> He also has a very <laughs> loud cough right yeah. now. Dave, we're all funny, but Dave knows he's not, so he delivers it with like such unconfidence that he just goes, yeah, like last Tuesday. I must say, he does say it with some charisma though. He likes to dance, he thinks he's Spanish. Dave, so say something to the crowd. 
Estoy bien enfermo y tengo un tos horrible. Can you say it in an English accent? As you can see, the rest of us are rather white. He came from the same upbringing, yet he goes... <laughs> I actually said I'm really sick and I have a horrible cough. Moving on. <laughs> I may add my two cents. He has siendo and me katano. Comment underneath what you think he said. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> okay, we're going to story time. Uh, the most noticeable one that comes to mind is going on uh, long car trips up to Maine to visit our relatives. And uh, we would make many rest stops <laughs> along the way. <laughs> I thought you were going to bring up the fudge dip. <laughs> but I already like where this is going. It would be a four hour road trip, so there would be a lot of people in the car. We'd have to take quite a few uh, rest stops. It wasn't until like we were maybe eight or ten years old that we realized when we go to these rest stops, we could do cool things like lock the stalls from the inside, crawl under to each other one, keep yep. locking them, and then leave the restroom that way. But that was a bit passe once we got a little bit older, like nine or ten. We, we upped our game. We upped our game because we would bring peanut butter sandwiches. In, in Wait, our... can I give the backstory of that morning? Are you gonna go into that? Yeah, give it at the end. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, we we'd bring to you peanut later. butter sandwiches on these car rides, not to eat, mind you, but when we went into the stalls to open those sandwiches up, smear them all over the seat, pretty much all over the stall, crumple up what's left, throw it in the toilet, and leave for someone else to walk out. We would never be there for the payoff, but it just made us laugh to do so. <laughs> But that morning, our dad set us up perfectly because he goes, you want to make your own sandwich? I go, oh, do we? <laughs> I smothered that bad boy in the most peanut butter I've ever seen on a sandwich. <laughs> He's like, you make a PB and jam? I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> Inside jokes that we have would just be yelled at top volume, uh. and Dad would just be driving, and Josh goes, and then go, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, he's going over 70 on the highway, so stressed out because we're yeah, 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 in the back seat, <laughs> and I, I made this quote, you will not understand the inside joke, but I have to say it anyway, but we would do this thing where... It was funnier if I yelled it louder, so I always made sure I one-upped myself each time I said it. Are you going to yell it now, or are you going to keep your control? <laughs> Moderate. Okay. <laughs> uh, the fudge dip one, or the... I thought that's the one you were going oh, Thanks for the warm welcome. Thank you. Thanks for the warm welcome. <laughs> and my dad would bleach the car would turn a little and get wet and swear, like people behind us would be like, what the heck? Let's speed the stories up. Yeah, yeah, what were you we gonna say? Oh, you gonna can edit. 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 You're yeah, an editing genius. Every, all of this needs to be edited. Uh, Josh gets out of the car. Not a, we, doesn't tell anyone. He just puts on some big sunglasses, picks up. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. <laughs> more backstory than that. <laughs> I'm wearing I'm sunglasses because my eyes are very sensitive. Dave oh. goes, no. <laughs> Dave goes, you kind of look blind. Ah, and starts sighing, and I go, <laughs> I got a great idea. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so Josh, not one to let a good opportunity go, <laughs> wears the glasses, picks up, not not like a stick that looks like a walking stick. A perfect it's like, specimen. It's a branch. It's it's a log. <laughs> it curves. And he's just like, walking perfect. around. Like not only is he blind, but he has his head looking up to show that he can't see anything. Instead of just a regular person, so he's just smacking stuff. It was like, and Dennis yeah. goes, hey, what's up? Josh just walks past him, smashing the ground. So when you go to the eye doctors, you can look through like, I don't know, like this binoculars, whatever looking thing, and you're looking out and it's just like a picture of a tractor. 
and they just smash you with a puff of air in your eye, and it's like a shot to the eye, and it hurts in your in your eyes like uh, watering like crazy. And then they're like, okay, let's do it with the other one now. <laughs> so you're you're half dead, and you have to do it again. Don't and then it's just to, like more sure bio. <laughs> this peaceful tractor in this field. Yeah, so don't so worry, we will not have an yeah, atomic yeah. blast into your eye socket. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for the other eye now. You're like, oh, sorry, you closed your eyelid. Why would you do it? Oh, like we'll have that? to do it again. <laughs> what? You're like, you have to do it again. No! You know? You know? It's, it's, the, it's the equivalent of the dentist having stuff inside your mouth and going like, hey, excuse me, you know, his penis. And then... <laughs> <laughs> when your dentist gives you a, a physical... <laughs> with, <laughs> So, so I had a quick thing I wanted to do, describing our least favorite pet peeves. Other ways to word that. Was, like, what are your favorite pet peeves? <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, constant loud I'm... noises of music at night. So Josh... Please describe. Yeah, well, while well, you get that together. I've never so, had it. Yeah. <laughs> never experienced such So things. Josh <laughs> raps and whatnot, and he makes his freaking beats, and we, and we live in the same house, um different rooms across from each other and I'll be trying to sleep and constantly through the walls is <laughs> two second pause because <laughs> he keeps replaying the same beat over and over and it's so loud you, you gotta make sure that fire is hot yeah John you can't describe one? Oh, um I think we can all agree it might not be a pet peeve but it's a PTSD we've all developed from our parents because you're not supposed to slam the fridge door. And, um, I thought this was going somewhere else. We can yeah, 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 I know. Exactly. Like, this is a good take up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and John's like, how do we end this good conversation? <laughs> no, not on episode one. <laughs> can I do redo mine? Oh, redo yours. Yeah. One of my pet peeves is people ratting you out for finding teeth marks in a stick of butter. <laughs> You fucking snitch! <laughs> we know it's him. But every time he would get mad at me, he knew one of my best, biggest pet peeves was going into our bedroom and messing up my bed. He'd tear off all the blankets, all the sheets, and the pillowcase, and I'd walk in, he's like, hm, I messed up your bed, Tim. Looks what like you? the turntables. So, one of my least favorite pet peeves. So, let me give some backstory. You're out with your friends, just trying to hold a conversation. You may or may not be eating at an Asian restaurant. Could be Asian, could be not, but it probably is. Could have been not. Could have been not. Could have been not. Could have been not. Could've been not. chowing down on a crab rangoon. Cool. And you're in really good debate with your friends. You're like, wow, this, this conversation is riveting. And you're like, I hope no one interrupts this. Uh oh. You've taken one sip of your water. And a waitress comes by and fills it up two seconds after it as if they're watching you across the restaurant. I just want to have a conversation with someone. They come every five seconds to fill up my cup. Is this relatable? Yes. Like, you got like surveillance on you at all times. So, like, table three, table three. <laughs> John's getting stressed out because I'm raising my voice. Rapid fire memories of homeschooled moments. Six boys living in the same room, Nate at the crib. Oh, when it would be like history class or whatever, I just hide under the couch for a couple hours. Miss that one. <laughs> for a couple of hours? Oh, I was good at hiding some days. Like, she, she's trying to like teach what, how many else of you at the time? Maybe three or four? Yeah. You just bl blend in and hide. So I was thinking yeah, we could talk about a relevant topic. John thinks. <laughs> That some sports are not sports? No, that will be four no, minutes long. That's, that, its, own that's its own episode or something. That's part Second. two.